G'day, it's Steve from Off The Grid in Oz, tiny house and trailers. Had to make this video uh, regarding just trailers actually. Get a lot of inquiries about trailers. Um, what I'm focused on there is a couple of monsters actually. You might be able to see they've got the wide load signs on. These are both 9 metres long plus a bar which makes them 10.5. And they're, they, these are both 2.8 metres wide. We do trailers basically to order. So if people want a monster, like these pair of babies, um, they, they can order them at 2.8. 2.8 is not registrable in most states. They require temporary tow permits that we use to get them out of the workshop, just to get them back here to build on. One of these is a client build. We're building an absolute monster that is gonna be a ripper, and I'm gonna do a video on that, but. The other one is actually going to South Australia. We have a, a client build, uh, DIY build, staying in their caravan here. At the moment, we run, we've got six trailers here in various states of construction, but I want to talk about just trailers. Now our trailers, we do not gal dip. We only paint them, and I get a lot of um, so-called trailer experts that come and tell us about, oh, you know, the trailer's got to be this, the trailer's got to be that. Well, I've got to tell you, at the end of the day, a trailer is just a trailer. Trailers weren't reinvented for the tiny house community. They are just trailers. They need to be built solid. They need to be built legal. They need to be able to take the load. And they need to be uh, cost effective. So we don't gal dip. We only paint our trailers because what happens with a trailer with nearly all tiny houses, is they just get buried under a tiny house. Uh, we use 5mm steel on main chassis rails, 3.5mm on most of the cross members. But basically your trailer, as much as you'll, uh, you've probably listened to somebody that's told you that the trailer is the foundation for your house. Well it is, but at the end of the day, it's just a bloody trailer, alright? Now that's not making light of it, and the trailers, these trailers run, uh, they're not cheap as you will know if you've watched our videos or if you've looked, done your research as they say, but at the end of the day as long as you've got rocker arm suspension, we put rocker arm on everything, well, as long as you've got electric brakes, we put electric brakes on all the bigger trailers, as long as your, your chassis is strong and straight, has the right couplings and bits and pieces on it, 70 mil for the four and a half tonners. You you just you don't need to spend that extra two thousand dollars on gal dipping, for instance. You don't need um, a lot of people want the the axles slung under to make them lower. The lower ones, and I'm going to walk around there. The lower ones, those two are actually rippers. I love those. They they're like my baby twins. Yeah, I know, that's a bit silly. But yeah, the, the different trailers we do are the, the flatbeds, which is, that one there is Thomas's. That's a flatbed 8 metre. Actually, that's a 9 metre. We have a, a low rider 8 metre there. It's another client bill doing it on site. They, they vary all over the place as far as height goes. You can run them down to about 600 mil, and the flatbeds like this one and those two over there, they run 800 mil floor height. Now a lot of people would go, oh, I want the floor lower. Well, another thing with trailers, most tiny houses aren't towed very far, and that's just an absolute fact, which makes the importance on the trailer a little bit, a little bit sort of secondary. Um, these aren't boat trailers that are towed everywhere, and uh, backed into salt water or water. These are road, going our trailers are road going but they are made so that they don't cost a million dollars they're very strong very straight very cost effective and i get a lot, so many people that come to the property we get a lot of people here visiting and they're so-called trailer experts well and i tell them all and just like myself i didn't reinvent the trailer and trailers have been around for a long time so just because you've done tiny house research and you figure you've got the bee's knees on trailers, well, I've got news for you. If you're happy to pay an extra $2,000 for gal dipping and you want your axles slung under, see how low that is. 
I deliver these things. You seriously, that one is 600 mil high. You seriously can barely drive that up a driveway. So I don't know who's talking to you about underslung axles to get from 600 mil high floor to down to 500 mil floor, but what you wind up with is a trailer that's low, that low that it's bloody near unmovable or immovable that would probably be. So yeah, we've got another one here. This one's an eight meter. She's a flatbed. That's one of our builds going out. Well, it's gonna go out once we actually build it. But the bottom line is you've really got to think about your trailer in not so much a tiny house way, but in a trailer way. And I don't need to sell any trailers. We've got six here at the moment and one more coming out of the workshop next week. So we've got seven here. We do, we are booked till after Christmas. So I'm not trying to flog trailers here, by the way. But a lot of the, what I would call horse shit kicking around, one over there that's one that's nearly finished it's going to be cladded and dressed up another low rider sitting at about 600 mil a lot of the a lot of the stuff kicking around about trailers Fettingham does my head in I, I just think people need to um, rationalize some of the thinking that's going on with trailers trailers need to be like I said registered registrable they need to be tagged and plated and structurally you know certified but outside of that you know you just got a trailer guys it's just a trailer so i wanted to do a, a short one we use brand new i had a question today we use brand new wheels and tires a lot of trailer companies tend to use recycled tires and stuff like that well we use brand new wheels and tires uh, i had a guy actually ask me today uh, what type of wheels are on it i felt like sending back an email saying well we we prefer the octagonal ones they make a nice bump sound when you get in the road but seriously, what sort of wheels? I don't know who these people are looking at or whose trails they're looking at, but all wheels and tires should be brand new. Don't take secondhand junk. Um, these are rated tires. These are tr light truck rated tires. Um, so, you know, make sure your tires are right. Obviously, that's a, that's a biggie. Make sure your couplings are, you know, the right size. Make sure you've got brakes and all the rest of it. But, you know... I just can't stand the trailer experts that are kicking around. People who have never built a trailer. I've built plenty of my own trailers. And I've got to tell you, at the end of the day, they're just a damn trailer. And they need to be good. They need to be strong. They need to be straight. They need to be legal. They need to be, you know, roadworthy. And they just get buried. They get buried in your tiny house. Not only buried, but... The funny thing about all this business to do with trailers is people seem to have this idea that the trailer is so important, yet facts have it, 90% of tiny houses barely ever get moved. Now, I hope that sinks in with a few punters, because seriously, the people that come to us and drive us crazy with trailer inquiries, and we do a lot of trailers. There's another mob that actually think they do more trailers than us, and I would question that. We do a lot of trailers. But this, this horse shit that's kicking around about the trailer is your foundation and it's got to be blah blah, that's fair enough. Because you don't want to build on a piece of shit. But a trailer is just a trailer. And you don't need to blow an extra 2000 on gal dipping to park it somewhere for the next 10 years. Did you hear that? You, you, most tiny houses only get moved, like, you know, <laughs> two or three times in their lifetime. So why blow all the effort and all the, all the extra money on a trailer that's just going to be parked? These aren't boat trailers that get dumped into the ocean every week. They're not caravans that get hauled around the countryside every weekend. These are tiny house trailers. Rocker arm suspension, double rail on the flat top, so they're super strong, especially on the longer ones. We've got eight, nine, and 10 meters here at the moment. So, you know, my point is, think about your trail, but don't overthink it. And, and that's just a bit of general advice. Like I said, I don't really want to sell another trailer right now. We're booked out till Christmas, so this is not the point of the video. The point is that we get so many inquiries that I have to deal with, like many other tiny house companies. And inquiries do tend to drive me a bit crazy. 
which isn't a long drive by the way. Anyway, it's cheers from Steve. A short video on trailers generally. Make sure you got your brakes, make sure you got your, your brand new wheels and tyres, make sure you've got a, a strong chassis made out of you know, three or four or five mil rail. Don't take anything built out of angle iron. Um, but maybe stop and think about the money you might be spending. Our trailers are really good value. And I'm going to leave it at that. With six in the driveway and one coming in and booked to the gunnels, life is good. Steve and Kerry and the cat and the freaking dog, we're all bloody happy as pig. We're all busy as buggery. We're building and answering inquiries daily that is quite staggering. I think the old COVID bug thing actually is driving a lot of inquiry. But yeah, trailers, trailers, trailers everywhere. A quick video on trailers for the punters who may have listened to, well, even, God help you, a lot of people are actually charging fees to give tuition on this sort of stuff. Well, I know a lot of tiny house companies do that. Um, and that's what sends people away thinking the trailer all of a sudden is something that it isn't. The trailer is what it's always been, a trailer. And in this case, a trailer that barely goes anywhere. And the tiny house build should hold the trailer. It doesn't work the other way. Your trailer isn't your foundation so much as the base for your build. Your build needs to be strong to keep the trailer strong. And that's a rule of thumb. And I don't care who you talk to, that is a rule of thumb. So cheers from Steve from Off The Grid and those tiny house and trailers. Cheers from Kerry, like I said, and the dog and the cat and the chooks. Life is good in central Victoria. Got a nice sunset going down. Time for me to knock off, it is a Friday night. This place is chaos. Well, nice chaos. And we'll catch you on the next one. And I'm sorry I'm doing a, a trailer video. I should be doing off-grid videos. And we've just been a bit too busy to knock those out. Kerry's over there somewhere at the house. And um, yeah, she's um, doing other things. We're just very busy, so we're not doing many general videos about off-grid living. But there you go. Trailers, trailers, trailers. And I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one, guys.